Hi, you guys. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Hi, How big you doing? doing? I cannot. I can pull that off. <clears throat> what? The Joey Tribbiani. Ah. How you doing? I mean, you have A to be... A friend's in... reference over there, peeps. I hope everyone mm. does know. Yeah. During the pandemic, at least, people discovered it. Cheers. Um, Welcome back. Yes. Uh, and thank you very much to the 30-ish. People who watched the first video, just by scrolling on YouTube, they found the video, they stopped. They watched it, they were mar <laughs> they were mesmerized because were there like, was no publicity at all. We didn't even post it on our socials. It was just like when I saw people, like she was like, 20 something was it? I was, how? Where did they find it? But thank you very much. We yes. very much appreciate it. And we uh, hope you come back. Yes, but this time, please, you guys, like, subscribe, and comment. Yes, I know it was um, a long time waiting because when you watched the first video, we said, oh, we're going to post a new one next week and everything. But life happened, cold happened, sickness happened. Yes, uh, so <sighs> it's been a long, long she, shot. She got a terrible flu, cold, I don't know what it's called. It's very much like COVID. It's not COVID, but... She couldn't even. I mean, we live in houses. She I'm couldn't sure. even properly talk or stand by herself, let alone to do a video while coughing, feeling fatigued, and. But you don't want you guys to feel pity. I mean, I want you to enjoy the video. So you're like, hopefully. Oh, and add that to the fact that we live in different houses, uh, you know, flu, uh, it's contagious. So. And the arrangement needed to be made, so a whole mess. But we made it. So we made it today. Ah, and by the way, this is in conversation with Jenny and Julie. We are twins. She's Albanian Julian twins. Albanian born twins. Italian raised twins. And here it comes. Why this video is in English? Why the other one is in Italian? Uh, basically, basically, and uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm dyslexic because. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> the first video was in Italian because it was diagnosed. <laughs> I mean, I have never checked. So I thought about this. Anyway, so, uh, the, the first, first video was just introductory video. I mean, we just it was in Italian. Austria. We thought of going on continuing on Italian, but we have people that do not understand Italian. The majority of our of the people in our life lives do not understand Italian. I mean, those who use. Uh, Social media, yes. All our people, most of them live in Italy. So. so we decided to go with English. It's more accessible. People more, yeah. understand it's more international. We reach out to more of you. <laughs> yes. And we are working though on learning how to put subtitles on, on uh, doing lots of other things like with the videos. Just we have an actually sit down to study and do yeah. stuff do because well proper youtube things yeah because as she said life happened but i promise we promise we're gonna get better at it we're gonna try and this is video is just like to make up that we made you wait i mean if you waited but for those 20 something days but here it goes so cheers here's with espresso and it's one a very thing, it's espresso it gets to me. It's on my Instagram bio. Espresso. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Not express. Anyways, keep it up. <laughs> What's the George Clooney take on this? He says espresso. So it's espresso, you guys. Learn. I don't care what <laughs> George Clooney says. It's espresso. Uh, it's a gloomy, gloomy day in Italy. The weather is just horrible it's been beautiful this it's day. very wintry i love it december is my favorite month holidays are coming bless it I have you Christ put up your tree yet yes julia they have <laughs> i don't know i'm asking uh we I have yes a beautiful one by the way uh i love christmas i love the decorations i love the music i love it it's my favorite month we are born in january so it's very close by it's amazing just we are gods <laughs> Capricorn. Uh, things that. What made this December? Found, just a question. Do you guys believe in horoscopes? If yes, let me know. If you want, we can do a video about it. No, no, I no, no video about it. <laughs> yes, yes, I we cannot go. read the horoscope. But I mean, uh, the um, astrologer, Jer, Ger, whatever. Astrologer. Yes, astrologer. you. Okay. You believe, and please clarify for us it's Ger or Jer. 
<laughs> What's the name of the famous one? Susan. Susan? Miller? Miller. Yes. If Italians you... have Paolo Fox, Paolo Fox but God, he loves Something him. went wrong with the guy <laughs> during the pandemic. <laughs> so, but uh, and do you guys have believe... Uh, that's a nice question. Do you guys believe Susan Miller or not? Like, are you a follower of Susan Miller, uh, an addicted follower of Susan Miller? I do not Miller, believe in horoscopes, in astrology, so that's I why just know I'm my, asking. I do not know my moon, my sun, my rising. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm, I'm damn sure it's not even moon, moon <laughs> sun or rising. But <laughs> please clarify that. Yes. On the comments below, please. Anyways, something that has made that, like, of this uh, November and almost through December beautiful has been the World Cup, you the guys. FIFA World Cup. It has been amazing, beautiful, blessed for these beautiful games. The beautiful games, the teams have... First of all, bought. are you from those who call it football or those who call it soccer? It's football. Point. That's an endless battle. It's football. That's an endless battle. To me, it's football. To us, it's football. To Europeans, it's football. To the world, it should be football. You pick your fighter, but America. Also, always. another question for you to give an answer. So, about the World Cup, it has been a beautiful World Cup. It has had a quite beautiful game actually. The teams have been very good. Uh, a team that was since the beginning a candidate to win has been France, because it has a very <coughs> strong and compact <coughs> team. Ah, uh, sorry about the England last night though. It's not coming home either this year. <laughs> this year. I mean, you could try for the next uh, European Cup. Maybe it comes You can home. get it home. Aren't they outside the... Oh, God. I don't know. Do you play in the European? We should have got this info before we made the video. Hmm. I but, didn't think... I just realized that The thing right is now. that we do not edit. We do not discuss. We just... This is not scripted, you guys. This you just... Not... We just get there. And it took us like five shots to get this video. Hopefully we get this one right. <laughs> because, because our mom kept interrupting by coming in the room. Anyways, as you see, as she said, it's unedited, unscripted, no filters whatsoever. It's just how we are. Mm -hmm. Spill my coffee. <laughs> so, sorry for England last night. Um, my husband lives in the UK. I'm sorry, babe. It's okay. And... Uh, about the World Cup, as I was saying, we are Team Brazil all the way through. Tiago, you're gonna, you're gonna be you're missed. You're going to be deeply, deeply, thoroughly <laughs> missed, Tiago Silva. Yes, our captain. Uh, but it but, was a hard Friday, though. <laughs> yes, joking. <laughs> not gonna, we're not gonna get over it until the next World Cup. But until the heck survive it's, home. It's just, uh, yes. Excuse us for our pre pronunciation, Brazilians and Portuguese people, but um. We say it, the hexa. It's, it's the, the sixth, sixth World Cup to Brazil, which is going to happen on to 2026 in um, USA, Mexico, and Canada. Yes. It's, oh my God, go, I'm already thinking reason. of booking my ticket. Yes, I was just about to tweet it. So there's another reason for you guys to book for America or whichever country or you want to visit. Or Mexico, Canada. Whichever you, which you want to visit. I think it's going to be America. I, it's been a long time that I wanted to visit New York. It depends on which can't stay, but I think it's going to be in Dallas one. Because I mean that would be in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. anyway. Um so the World Cup. Uh we've loved the World Cup so far. It's been full of surprises. Yes. It's been full of uh unexpected victories and unexpected losses. I'm Hello. sorry, Germany. Hello, the underdog. Like, come on, who would ever thought that Morocco would make make it to the semifinals? Congrats! Ah, I did think that. Julia is a fan of Morocco, by the way. I'm a fan of Morocco. I'm a fan of the country. I'm a fan of the goalkeeper. Yes, I mean Sevilla, my love. But um, I love Sevilla, so hence they play a very, very, they play a beautiful, clean game in my eyes at least i'm not a football expert or whatsoever but they've I had like some it. cute old moments behind yeah. the scenes yeah with their mothers they're very attached to their mothers it's a very it would be very i don't think possible i don't think morocco will beat france i hope so for them you never know but they beat uh, england and um 
each other or come to Spain. Spain so far, I mean, we might as well. So, yeah, good for, good for Morocco. Another country I'd like to see winning. It's Croatia, you guys. They beat, it's from the... They beat Brazil, so it's only fair they win. Uh, they I, have it all. Yes, uh, we are Real Madrid fans, Madridistas. Um, and, of course, Duga Modric is there. So, beautiful game. Um, uh, Croatia, has, they are, they... Croatia has an amazing midfield. A, a wall around the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper. If multiplies. they make it to the penalties, I mean, it's all good luck on your team. Not even Messi can win it. And thankfully, I hope and pray every day that Argentina loses. As you can see, loses. she's not a fan. I'm not. But not of the country, you people. You don't, don't get I am. Them. I love Argentina as a country, but I do not like the football team. They are not good, despite what people say. Anyway. People say I do not like them. Moving on. Moving on, this... Have you enjoyed the World Cup so far? Which team did you cheer on? Uh, if Whatever, it is, if it, you can comment even after... Uh, the, the, game, the game has been... Not, okay, there have been like some terrible games. Or I remember one I was watching, I was like, what the hell? There is one thing that triggered my sister's OCD. The Spain's goalkeeper. <laughs> oh, now you, what the hell were you thinking? Like, what the hell, you guys? I hated that guy. I love Spain as a team, I love it as a country, but uh, the guy was sleeping with Germany the first half. He, he just blew my mind. Whoa! <laughs> Again, moving on. Uh, Let us know. This World Cup, already when it started, it was surprisingly shocking. For the good or for the bad, it depends on Italy, wasn't in it? Yeah. A moment of silence <laughs> for the Italians. <laughs> we do not cheer in Italy, but we live in Italy and we love Italy. We so. are Itali Albanian born and uh, Italian is, but nonetheless, there we cheer is, on Brazil. There is a fun fact you need to know about Albanians. Uh, mm -hmm. In Albania, there is a holy triangle as far as World Club goes. You can, you could, and I think still can cheer only on three countries. Brazil. Especially not only because mm -hmm. well, Netherlands is quite loved there. <laughs> It's, yeah, anyway. it's it's not in the top. It's like a holy triangle, like Brazil, Italy, or Germany, and so people could either, could choose between these three or Switzerland lately because but of lately the, yeah Jack but, Shakiri, because they have they have two Albanian uh, football players. I might be the only Albanian who hates Switzerland. So I mean, <laughs> I'm not that patriotic. I'm not that. I'm person, not. But, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I cheer on Brazil because I cheer on Brazil because. That's so, my team, so... I'm let sorry. us know which team you cheered on. This uh, World Cup, as I said, first of all, it was in winter, like, hello. We used to watch it at the beach, big screen. And yeah, while playing our volleyball games or just getting out of the beach and like, oh my god, Brazil's But <laughs> it also, also has been surrounded by a lot of, of negative. negative press and... That's because... Weird and on. shocking events, if are true, like... I heard people died while mm, cons the construction of the stadiums happened. I heard they built like a wall between the poor and the area I, of the stadium. I'm not informed. I haven't. I mean, I've There's read a, that. I haven't fact checked, uh, so I don't know. I'm, I don't feel like talking about it. I, these are things we've read. I mean, everyone. I bet. Who knows? Nonetheless, about the Qatar Cup has prepared already. a very beautiful World Cup. It has been a beautiful World Cup, Qatar. Good the, job, good job, hands the down. have been high Beautiful. class. Beautiful. Uh, more power to the underdogs. Amazing. Good job. Blown away. There's a, something that we wanted to say. There's a do documentary. documentary about the Qatar about, situation. Basically, it was about the corruption. Yeah, she saw it. The scandal it. corruption that happened in 2019, I think it was, uh, about the <clears throat> FIFA World Cup. Oh, good God, I should have check the name uh <laughs> she's gonna like summarize it a little bit for you no basically it's uh, about first hand it, it, it explains the history of the world cup how it started how it developed and when it got too political when it got too um economics it became more monetized so it goes from there to the point of the to the breakup to the breakout of the uh, corruption scandal and what happened in the aftermath of the scandal, uh, the first-hand interviews uh, of the former uh, president of the World Cup, FIFA World Cup, Giovanni Vincenzo Infantino. This is the current uh, 
president. What's that? Former. <laughs> Former. Ah, Joseph. It's Seb Blatter. Ah. Seb Blatter. Seb Blatter, he has been the longest uh, sitting president of the World Cup. And you have. I'm going to watch it tonight. You have the interviews there. How he feels about it. I mean, I totally hated the guy during the <laughs> during the documentary but but it's uh, like insightful is it it's working? very beautiful to watch uh you there it was done as a preview of the world cup it was showed on netflix before the world yes, cup yes i remember when it came out i just haven't had the chance so to watch it. i mean i watched it to prepare myself so about the world cup because of the uh, negative, negative press that it had uh, come happening during this whole time in preparation of the world of the event so i watched it um, uh, we're not gonna get into politics on anything, i don't I, I don't feel like talking about that in here but i mean qatar bit bet um against i think it was the united states because UK russia also. russia was against the uk mm. so next year next world cup will be in usa so come you, on guys. you could see just there how it works but there's a lot of corruption in there there's a lot of uh, reached games and everything but you better watch the documentary so you can have an insight of what happens not only in football i think in all kind of sports you guys but uh, it's beautiful nonetheless it, so watch it about that she she also posted a review we have a social media uh, an instagram account uh, we're gonna post it below jenny and julie uh where we do reviews of books tv series movies and documentaries we watch we like uh we suggest to people it's mainly mainly about mm. books yeah our books are you can find the a reel about how we put our trees <laughs> <laughs> yes uh as i said as i was saying uh the account is mainly about books but also the you can find the fifa documentary uh review it's about books we are great Book like works. avid readers we are bookworms julia mostly she reads faster than me and she chooses the books she's like my book guru we thankfully we like the same genre so it's easy yeah for well us. um we've developed this this past months i've read genres i've never thought i would yes for example read. i do not like I biographical read. books i do not i cannot sit through different hours of reading a biography i don't, I don't like uh, um uh, those um, <laughs> self awareness books. You're the manifesting things. I don't do manifesting. I, I don't do that. It I, took me three years to read a book uh, of that genre. Three. I, I've read a couple. I mean, my opinion is that as you go. At the end of it, you read one. You've read ones. You read two. Okay? And the third one, trust me, you can write your own. That's 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 the only mainly thing. They, and most of all, I have to say this. I've said this. I have to say this. If you studied philosophy for five years, ah, like okay. we did, trust me, those books will say nothing new. It's like, mostly like why? they uh, have the same idea but constructed differently. Or it's the way they write it. Yes, it's, uh, it's it's the writing. Anyway, it's the style. You can love them or hate them. Just Next video, fancy. we're going to talk. Another video, we're going to talk about books and styles and genres and critics and whatever. We're going to talk about books. We are very, very blessed to. I, I know that not many of us have access to books, to libraries. Man, those books are expensive. Are expensive, or maybe their libraries are not furnished enough or up yeah, to date. They're not that rich. We are luck, luckily and uh, thankfully our library is very well furnished and it has like the latest books. Uh, some and if it if it, if they don't have the book, if they, you we can ask for it, they're gonna have it. So. Yeah, it's very very nice to have that access. We're gonna talk about books in other days, but also just so you know, we're gonna let we're gonna post the account. So you the handle follow. we're gonna put uh, text the, the handle the IG yes so you can follow us on Instagram too please like and subscribe and comment on YouTube too um, it that's was, it for it was today. fun <clears throat> it was fun we finally made it to the end of this video I never thought we would I do talk fast yes as I read <laughs> as I write as I type <laughs> anyways you guys uh, hopefully the next one will be sooner than, than this one, one and it won't take us.
and maybe we can comment comment the final of the World Cup. See you guys. Have bye. Fun.